going to take a quick look at some classic Frontier sporting arms from the 1860s and 70s. Some lever guns and some popular 4570 single shot rifles. So these are the cartridges we'll be shooting in our sample rifles. This is a gunsmith conversion of a military Spencer carbine into a mountain rifle. It has a 26 inch octagon barrel chambered in 5646 Spencer. It also features a single set trigger and a wooden cleaning rod hung beneath the barrel. So this sporting rifle was made out of a new model Spencer military rifle. And one way you can tell is the white cartridge guide, plus it has the Spencer magazine cutoff device here where you just turn it slightly to the side and it limits the breech block travel so you can single load the rifle and use it as a single shot and it holds the magazine in reserve. And then when you wanted to use it as a repeater, you just slide that over this way. And then that'll allow the breech block to go all the way down, grab a cartridge from the magazine, and then you're back to normal operation. Another interesting feature on this gun is someone inlet this metal plate into the wrist and it has two tapped and drilled holes that I'm assuming was for a tang sight, which unfortunately is now missing. This is a factory Spencer sporting rifle made around 1864. It's also in 5646 caliber. It features a handsome burl walnut stock, Spencer tank sight, and a hooded front sight. The Spencer has a seven round magazine in the buttstock. On discovering his two friends, Charlie and Ross McKnight, had been killed by Indians, Montana gunsmith Cornelius Lee wrote in his journal, January 13, 1871, Charlie's arms were a new Patton Henry rifle and a Smith & Wesson pistol. Ross had a Spencer rifle and a Colt's Navy revolver. The rifle was one I had just lately rebarreled. Their two guns were as good as any on the river. Their arms and ammunition all gone. Well, I wonder if that Spencer Lee rebarreled was converted to a mountain rifle. Now let's take a look at some 4570 caliber sporting rifles. This is a highly customized Springfield trapdoor mountain rifle. It features a beautiful maple Hawken style stock, lock, and trigger guard. It also sports double set triggers. Surplus trap doors were purchased from the government and converted to sporting rifles by outfits like E.C. Meekum of St. Louis and Lewis N. Curry and Brothers of San Francisco for their western trade.
is General Custer with his trapdoor sporting rifle. This is a modern made Springfield officer's model offered by Harrington and Richardson in the 1970s. The original, a special order item, it is believed that less than 500 were produced by the Springfield Armory. Here we have a modern made 1874 Sharps mountain rifle in the Gimmer style. This gun was produced by Petter Soli for the now defunct Cape Outfitters of Missouri. Some of the features of this rifle are a Hawkins style stock with a wooden cleaning rod, an adjustable tang sight, a hooded front sight, and double set triggers. Here's Buffalo Bill with his Remington rolling block. The rolling block was made from the 1860s into the early 20th century with over 1.5 million produced. Popular with armies around the world, the Remington rolling block was a favorite with buffalo hunters and long range target shooters in America. This particular example appears to be a numerous conversion of a military Remington with a 27 inch half round, half octagon barrel and a sporting stock. Here we have the classic Winchester toggle link repeating rifle. This is a modern made Henry rifle in 44 40 caliber. The Henry was the first of a series of popular lever action rifles. It saw service in the American Civil War and was a favorite of frontiersmen heading west. An often heard complaint of the Henry design was that the open magazine tube shear to gather dirt and debris and foul the action. But recently, I saw the guys at InRange TV put a shovel full of mud directly in the mag tube and it did not cause the gun to malfunction. This is the last of the Winchester Toggling series, the 1876 third model. It features many improvements over the Henry. Chambered for the powerful 4560 rifle round, the third model features the Kane's patented loading gate, wooden forearm, sliding dust cover, and new safety features, such as a half cop safety notch and a safety sear that prevents the gun from firing out of battery.
1976 was a favorite of Westerners. Teddy Roosevelt used one in his Dakota ranching days. Army Scout Al Cyber, Apache leader Geronimo, and gunman Johnny Ringo all carried the model 1876 Winchester rifle. 